The process of creating a modern toy starts with the inventor, who often works with a toy company, to strike a balance between technology, functionality, and appeal. It's a flying toy with flapping wings. That's different from any other propulsion technology. Daniel Chun from Interactive Toys says his company dreamed of duplicating Leonardo da Vinci's bird-like ornithopter design. Yeah, the gentleman actually has drawings of a ornithopter, never shown to be flying. Of course, unlike the master's design, this creation actually had to work. The Interactive Toy team took inspiration from a full-scale attempt to create a mechanical bird. The vamp is actually powered by a gearbox and it cranks the wing and different from any propulsion technology which use propellers uh, of some sort. Either way, you are actually trying to gain lift or, or thrust. A team of aerospace engineers at the University of Toronto have been trying to build a successful ornithopter since the early 1970s. A few years ago, they started getting short but reliable flights out of the thing, which gave hope to the toy makers. The secret for both full-size and toy ornithopters was to allow the wings to create more upward lift while flapping down, then disturbing less air while moving back up. In both cases, the wings also had to withstand the pressure exerted by the constant flapping.